We are tracking some breaking news right now for you where dozens of cars caught fire at a salvage lot in Taunton. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshito spoke with the deputy fire chief and joins us now live in Taunton with the latest. Sheena? They were just massive flames. Multiple cars were on fire at once. And just to give you an idea of how fast this spread, the fire chief tells me on the way to the fire, they got several 911 calls about the bad black smoke. At least 30 cars now piles of rubble after a massive fire erupts inside of a car lot in Taunton. This video from above shows how close the cars were parked together, a factor Deputy Chief Scott Dexter says worked against crews. One of the first things I did, I talked to one of the secretaries here, I said, I get the manager here and get somebody that can drive a front end loader so we can you know, move cars around because obviously we're going to, you know, we need room and whatnot. And then they, they brought a guy in quickly and, and moved uh, several cars around. Firefighters were called to the lot, holding around 4,000 cars around 530 Friday night. And when crews got there, cars were already fully engulfed. Dexter says tires and airbags popped, making it look like there was an explosion at times. Rain Ann came in for manpower, so we had um, plenty of manpower, and we just surrounded and just dumped a bunch of water on it. Crews worked deep inside the large lot off Myrick Street for hours, ultimately getting the flames under control. Thankfully, the deputy chief says no one was hurt. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Uh, it wasn't that windy, but it was moving, you know, and, and uh, it takes a lot to get a car on fire, but once it gets going, it takes a lot to put it out. And of course, they, they, they were parked close uh, together, proximity. So uh, just when one got going, he just kept jumping, you know, from one car to the next. So what exactly caused this massive fire? Both police and fire officials are still looking into that, and they, of course, continue investigating. Reporting live in Taunton, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.